Uh, but here's another good part from that same Toronto Starticle. This is this is really gonna make your skin crawl. Oh. The 60th anniversary of Tim's and the June performance slot, which includes two performances exclusively for Tim Hortons franchisees in town for the annual convention, <laughs> provided the impetus for the production. It didn't hurt that the company provided lots of tidbits for the team to nibble on while they were creating. Oh no. So the the Tim Hortons 90 minute ad of a commissioned musical performed exclusively for Tim Hortons franchisees who have all gathered in Toronto for a Tim Hortons franchisees convention. <laughs> like, can you imagine being in a room with more bleak vibes? Jesus. Like, and like, I mean, maybe I am being bleak, but like, maybe there are people that have like drunk the Kool-Aid, but I was like, I can't imagine a Tim Hortons franchisee even wanting to do that. Like, I just imagine them, imagine them like based on our episodes as these like soulless, shriveled mummies of human beings. Well, and this is a soulless, shriveled mummy of a play. So yes. I can see why they would want to be there, because if there's one thing I think these franchisees believe, it's that they are amazing and provide value to the world. And like, what is more congratulatory to them than a play that says the company you work for like the the franchise that you own is so important and amazing brings together like it's just i would say it's masturbatory but it's not it is the play like jacking the franchisees off 